Hey guys, today I am going to do the long-awaited t-shirt cutting video. I'm nervous. I've got Brooke here. She came over to help me steam some things and I'm going to get her to help me make sure that the camera is in the right position because I only have one chance to get this right on this t-shirt anyway. So what I'm going to do is this t-shirt that you guys liked that I cut and it, honestly, I would have never worn this t-shirt as much if I had not cut the sleeves. That just made it that much better. So what I wanted to do was measure the actual t-shirt because a lot of you did get this t-shirt, but see how they're rolled up. So what I did is I use this t-shirt right here as a guide because I love it so much. This is the Air, A-Y-R, super cool t-shirt it's the round neck that's my favorite they do have one that's kind of a scoopy like v-neck shirt i really love this one but that's just because i'm not really a v-neck girl and this is what i used to cut this t-shirt so what i want to do is give you these exact measurements so that you'll know and then we're going to use this one as a guide to cut the Nirvana t-shirt that I bought from H&M. So here we go. I've got my sewing scissors that I had. My parents bought these for me when I was sewing. I think it was for our birthday. And it came with these and just a little small pair. And you know, I would get them sharpened and they're very nice. So I don't expect you to have scissors like this, but what I do think you should do is use your best kitchen scissors. <laughs> they're, they cut the best to me. A good pair of kitchen scissors, boy, they're so valuable. But just make sure you have some scissors that, you know, won't mess you up. Otherwise, it doesn't really matter because it's going to roll up. When you're sewing, it does make a big difference. And most of the time I would use not most of the time, but a lot of the time I would use the rotary cutter. Okay, so here it goes. Let's see how, let me give you the exact measurements of these sleeves on this shirt. So the top is two inches and then the bottom is, that makes sense an inch and a half from the bottom to the seam. So if you take your shirt and mark a spot for a half, what did I say? Inch and a half, gosh, it doesn't look like it would be that much. For an inch and a half, and then this for, make sure I got this right, two inches, then you should be able to get this basic cut. And it's going to, even on this brand new shirt that I just took out of the wrapper, it's going to roll up. And that's, you know, that's the beauty of it. So that is how I came up with that particular guide. And let me show you some more tips. Okay, so here is my t-shirt from H&M. And it is a size small. And let's just see how it compares to this Anina Bing, which is also, I think, a size small. Yes, small. Okay, so we can see it's much more oversized. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna take this, make sure your sleeve is out straight. Hey, Chanel. And, I'm gonna match up the seams here. Can you see? Good. Mm -hmm. Okay. And I'm just gonna follow this. Actually, I'm gonna come in a little further. Use that as a guide. Okay, 
So here is a little helpful tip on this side to make them even. Use what you cut off of the other side and that way no matter what they're going to look the same. There you have what you've cut off. Okay, so here's your t-shirt and because I know that I like the length of this one, I'm going to cut it to this length. So I'm going to match it the best I can. And all right. Everybody's so curious. All right, lover boy. We've already had our love session this morning. Come on. <laughs> okay, can you see here? Mm -hmm. Okay. So what you do is cut. And even if you did not have this shirt as a guide, what you would do now is flip this over to be the rest of your guide, even if, you know, just for any t-shirt that you're cutting. This is what I do. Each t-shirt might roll up kind of different. And where's the other one? Is this it? Oh, wait, look. Oh, wait, I should have. That, that's going to be a Aww, cute one. Oh, <laughs> yeah. yeah. And then if you really want to go for it, you could get this shirt like I did, the Air Small Super Cool Tee. And it's actually a very good length also, and it has like this little split. But this is what... I've used from the beginning. Let's see how it compares to this one. Oh, okay, it's about the same width. Okay, yeah. There you go. You can put it on here. You can, you can put it on the carpet. Fluff this side a little bit. Fluff it. Okay, yeah. Okay, guys, I hope that you enjoyed this. It's very simple, but I think it is something that makes a big difference. So thank you for watching, and I will see you soon. Bye-bye.